I walked in through the uh, MGM parking garage when I played on day one, when I finished playing. Ended here and just walked back to my room in Excalibur. So my car's still here, gonna drive up to win. Um, they had, I think three one threes and one two five. Gonna go there, because after I play, I'm going somewhere nearby. So I wanna be in that area. And yeah, I just edited last night the day one video. And I said I would tell you why I'm doing this during a seven day stretch that I can't even commit the full seven days, which is mostly due to Saturday. Uh, yeah, I can't tell you that during the challenge. Shortly after the challenge, I'll let you know why I picked these seven days to do it. Saturday is gonna be the lightest day of poker, but it's gonna be awesome. Uh, I'll give you some hints. There will be some poker, but not a lot. There will be no two five. And I am eating more than I really want to today and tomorrow in anticipation of it. If uh, those hints, I mean, there's no way you know what I'm actually doing, but you might get some of the ideas. You might get like the gist of it, but I won't give it away. Saturday is gonna be amazing. Uh, so yeah, gonna go to, go to win. I don't think I'm gonna get another like six. I don't think I'm gonna get quite that many hours of two five in today, but been uh, very good in terms of two five. Also want to get more, just more hours in general. Yesterday it was a good decision to uh, not play that late. I only played the two five hours and then I edited three videos and I went to sleep at a fairly reasonable time and woke up at 8.31 because I need to wake up early for Saturday. So I don't want, I didn't want to be waking up at like noon and then all of a sudden Saturday, I gotta go through Saturday on like no sleep, that would be pretty bad. So my schedule is good after Saturday. It's not as important, so. Woke up early, oh, it's between, time at the bottom. It's between 12 and one right now. I'm on both lists at win. found my color, so I'll see you at win. All right, here at win. by the way, if you're silver or above, my card is silver, I don't know the name of it, but my player's card here at win is silver. If you are silver, which I imagine a bunch of poker players are, you don't need to bother with the ticketing. Win charges for parking now, but you can get it validated with three hours of poker. Under three hours is free. Three hours or more of poker. From when you park to when you leave, if it's fewer than three hours, you don't pay. If you play three hours of poker or more, the floor will validate it. Or if you're this silver card, you just put your card in at the gate, the gate opens. When you leave, no matter how long it's been, you put your card in, the gate opens, and you leave. You don't need to bother with the tickets. You don't need to bother wasting your time nor the floor's time to validate um, your, your parking ticket. So if you're that silver card, just swipe it in when you enter, swipe it out when you leave, any amount of time, the gate opens for you. All right, I played rounding to the nearest half hour. I played a half hour, one three. We started a two five, which was a must move, which was odd that almost like everybody left the main game at once. When I, I was like the sixth person to move to the main game, it was like pretty much the new table that opened. Just everyone was on a different table. Uh, it wasn't a great game. I can't be all that picky in this challenge though. So I played, I played there for like two hours, rounding to the nearest hour, something like that. And now I have uh, dinner plans. I'm in Palazzo, so I will probably play Bell. I need to be in Valleys for something later. You probably call it Horseshoe. So might be it for 2-5 for, uh, for the day, but definitely more poker to play after dinner. All right, dinner is done. Dinner, officially the name of the restaurant is Yardbird. It's in Venetian. There are so many places with the same few words in the title that I just give every place the same word, the same name. I call it Yardbird Red Tap House Commons, one word, then colon, then the place where it's located, and then the word edition. So this is how, at the bottom of the screen, this is how I say it. Yardbird Red Tap House Commons, Venetian edition. Uh, dinner was great, waiter was great. I didn't know this, but he gave us a locals discount. So if you're a local and you go there, ask for that. Didn't know that was a thing. Um, I need to find my way out of here. I'm almost never up here in the shops in Palazzo slash Phoenician. I gotta get back to my car. My car is at Encore. I need to get to the sidewalk, ideally that north Palazzo exit. And then there's the bridge across the street. 
across uh, Sands Avenue, I think it is, and then get to uh, win an encore. My car, I could play there. My car is there. I don't know. Probably mix it up. Probably go to, uh, you know, probably go to Bell. Don't know if I'm going to play 1-3 or 2-5, but play one of them. And then uh, I need to meet someone for a thing at uh, at Bally's. You probably say Horseshoe. And then after that, I don't know, might just stay around, play Bally's. Haven't played there in a while. Could go back <coughs> to MGM. We'll see. But I got to get my car and going to go to the Bellagio Bally's area right now. been a while since I parked on the roof at Bellagio. I am here. I'm on both lists. Uh, do need to get over to Bally's across the street right there in like three hours or so. But got some time here in Bell and I'm going to play poker. Oh, I'll mention this while I'm in Bellagio. I didn't know this and there's not a lot of days left in August. Any game in Bellagio right now for the month of August between 3 a.m. and 8 a.m. three dollars per hour comps. Normally it's two. Also, 510 is just a three dollar three dollar per hour comp game. I'm pretty sure just for good. I don't think that's just a month of August thing. It says on Bravo, like that's the title of the game. 510, three dollars per hour comps. So just to let everyone know, I know there's not a ton of days left. While I'm here though and telling you things about uh August, Wynn has a tournament series going on right now. So I played there today. I played there two days ago, and I played there a couple times like 10 days ago, two weeks ago. Every tournament that's been going on while I was in there has had a lot of overlay. So I think it runs through September 5th, this tournament series. So if you're in town and you like tournaments, uh, check out The Wind, because there has been some like crazy overlay in their tournaments. It's an odd time to run a tournament series. Uh, you know, the World Series ended, not many people are like still in town from like late May to play a lot of tournaments. But if you want to, uh, if you like tournaments, good idea to check it out, because there is a, a lot of extra money in those prize pools right now. So I'm just going to go play, I promise, if I remember, uh, Conservatory on the way out. I remembered. Here we go. Conservatory. Quick walk. wrap up the day uh over here at bell i played one three rounding to the nearest hour two hours in nothing really eventful happened uh in hands in win two five earlier i did play i did win the biggest hand i played that was nice uh a head pre behind on the flop a head on the turn and not only was i still ahead on the river the river was a card that allowed me to get paid off more than I would have if a complete brick hit the river. The river didn't change who was ahead, but I got paid off more because of it. That was a nice run out. Uh, so yeah, Ooh, interesting thing I wanted to tell everybody. So I have that uh, one um, golden nugget chip in my sling pack still, uh, and everyone's telling me, you know, you could just go to, uh, it's kind of windy. you could just go to any cage and you know, give them the chip, they'll give you the money. 
If you sneak it into a stack of other red chips, yeah, I don't think anyone will notice. Yesterday when I was here at Bell, I was at the cage, a chip runner brought a blue Westgate chip to the cage. Uh, that's Westgate's $1 chip. And the cashier said, I don't think we can take this. Walked away, got a binder, brought it back and opened the binder to the Westgate page, which has pictures of all the denomination chips Westgate has, and there's a big X through the entire page. And she said, see, we can't take chips from there. So it's not every casino that takes every chip. A lot of people think the smallest denomination chips like don't matter. You could get a one changed anywhere. Not the case. Bellagio Cage does not accept Westgate chips of any denomination. So just wanted to tell everyone that I wasn't planning on uh, stuffing that red golden nugget chip into a red stack of Bellagio chips anyway, but uh, would still like to get rid of it at some point without going to Nugget. Sell, I'd sell, happily sell it to someone for like $2, but I don't even know people who go to Nugget. Anyway, I'm gonna meet a guy at Westgate. Oh, and I think that's gonna be it. I really need to wake up early tomorrow and Saturday. Um, need to be on this early schedule. Sunday, I don't care. I, I could wake up 5 p.m. Sunday. That would be fine. I mean, I won't, but I, I wouldn't mind if that happened. Need to wake up early. I woke up early today, like I said, 8.31. So I uh, woke up early, not on a ton of sleep, tired now. So I'm going to meet this guy at Bally's and then just uh, head back. And that'll be it for today. Wasn't a ton of hours, but it, it was solid enough and uh, still on a good pace to uh, complete it. Still on a good pace to complete everything. And remember, rice is a spoon food.